fight! Hi, I'm helping my daughter with her homework, yeah. but I am listening. I just wanted to make a fast comment and then I'll go back on the chat, no but I'm not going. To, I just, I just tuned in, so I missed the first. You know, I guess you've been on for an hour now. Hour twenty five. Yeah. Sorry, so okay. I missed a lot of it. Play but I just wanted gang. to make a comment. I will because um, this thing, this. You know, if um, Loma was a black fighter and Haney was a black fighter, I know nobody would even be talking about this mess. This is just yeah. like, this is just, it's so it's so interesting that every time when there's a white fighter, and I know you guys hate me for saying this, and mm -hmm. a black fighter, it always goes like it's this. drama. And people want to talk so much crap about people with about UK and all that stuff, but we don't I have do to that give here. you guys credit. Yeah, we you don't, don't do that. that. You guys Every care time. about nationality. Yeah. When you know yeah. what? That's why when Klitschko fought Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua, I saw that fight the other day. Anthony Joshua got so much love. That's why. And that's why Deontay Wilder was jealous. Because he don't get this love. When he went to um, see that fight, he was amazed to see the love yeah, that AJ got. And he even admitted. Because yeah, he don't get that. that in this country. We don't do black versus white on the fighters here. When AJ he fought Klitschko this... or anyone, we, we didn't go, well, boy, uh, you know, the black fighter, he's got to beat the, like, oh, the white. The white people didn't go against, the, like, whatever. I, 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 this is new to me since... Uh, Messing with you, lot. I'm seeing all of this racial tension, black, white. Just get over it. There's black fighters. There's white fighters. We don't rock like I'm that. I'm not. I'm not saying that there's no racism in the UK because I don't live there. No, there but is racism, when it comes, but not like that. Yeah, not like with boxing. But it's so then old, when it comes it? to like the national pride, Gosh. it's no way you could stand up to say for, for the national anthem like I saw on Saturday. And then as soon as you saw the American fighter come in, you boo. I know. This is like, I mean, I just, mm. I, I, I'm just like disgusted. And you see a lot of people's true colors. This fight is too close in order for people to be acting like that. And like I said, if it was two black fighters or two white fighters, nobody would give a single F. And a lot that. of the people in your channel that don't donate, but always on your panel, always want to be having an attitude, have an attitude over that stuff. But you know what? If it was the reverse win, they would have stayed quiet. Robbery. I'm just, they like, would have said done robbery. With it. Oh, yeah, Devin Haney got robbed. They would have been the first one saying it. Everyone here would have been saying, the, the, Blood, you would have said Devin Haney got robbed, man. Right? He got robbed, right? You would have, wouldn't you, blood? If Devin Haney um, lost, you mean? Would I say he got yeah, robbed? Yeah, with the, how Loma lost. If it was the exact same the way. Robbery. I've always been critical of using that word robbery. I think I, I'd say that I believe he won the fight. That's I agree, because it's a difference mm. between a gift and a robbery. A gift is a, like, it could be either way, and they probably slightly, if that's a gift, a to robbery is one of the outreach. A robbery when there it, it's clearly that there's a lot of rounds that that other fighter won and then but yet they gave it to you know the opposite fight what did you call this is did you are you calling this a robbery what would you give that give uh the audience your rundown arlet because i know you're big on lomachenko and i know you big on Haney oh, I as love well. lomachenko, mm -hmm. but yeah. I, I don't think it was a robbery at first i thought it was i'm not gonna lie but that was because when i was listening to it i was watching you yeah. on one on one device i had espn up on other uh device i was listening to a lot of the commentary when i saw it on my own um it was a lot closer than you know they try to make it look like i don't think it was a robbery it could have been yeah. it could have went either way but um i answered a little bit to Devin. 
But if Lomachenko would have won, I mean, by that, I would have like, okay. But the thing about it that, and it was rules for years, you have to convincingly beat the champion. So even if it was really, really close, I don't know. I still would have gave it to Devin. But like I said, so what, what to Lomo? Okay, you fine. Lomo. Loma. I, Loma. I like me so Loma. Loma you know why I like him? Because he's a fan, dancer like me. Boy. Yeah, the Lomos are his fanboy fan base. The Lomos. They call them the Lomos. The Lomosexuals. He's like it? a dancer like me. So I could appreciate yeah. a dancer. He took on dancing since he was young, like yeah. me. Like so I, oh, I, I like him for that. Yeah, you like how he moves um, in the ring. Yes. And I think he's cute for a white boy. Oh, well, he's too <laughs> little. He's tiny. He is, but I'm just saying, he's cute. He got, like, a cute smile. I think he's, like, if I yeah, was, if like, was a, if, was, if I was thinking about swirling and he was a little taller, if he was I'd taller. have been, like, Yeah, you've got to be taller. you got to be at minimum six six <laughs> one for me, mate, before I even look at you. So, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. But, Shell, <laughs> Arlette always brings it. <laughs> Arlette always, that's why right, you, you, you've got to laugh when Arlette always comes with the, <laughs> she comes with. I just say, I don't have a crush on her. I just. You she know, does. I have a thing That's for Eastern a... European fires. I have a crush on Triple G. I have a crush on Cisco. No, you do. Like so it's like, no. Yeah, she got a crush on Triple no, G. No, I, I mean, Klitschko. my mate is black. But I'm just saying, I find that European. But uh, like I how I like Bivol. Like I've got a crush on Bivol. Yeah. I think Bivol's hot. Like, and with the accent. Ganella. <laughs> I yeah. will fight Ganella. Ganella. <laughs> I'll be in the, the background. Love right. you. Love you too. Mwah. Shouts <laughs> out to Arlette. In the booth, Thanks for calling in, girl. Arlette, uh, Arlette is, uh, yeah, Arlette, Arlette brings it in. It's true, man. We don't, we, we don't really come with this black v white thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a queen, but this is going to be a queen. He's a queen, but this is going to be a queen. Yeah. yeah, we're not doing that here. I, I, I have learned that from you guys. It does get a lot of racial tension with this black v white thing with fighters. You know, I didn't even, I wasn't even, Kenny Ken, back me up on this. Hmm. Um, Blood's a bit removed now from, from the UK uh, uh, in boxing. Obviously, he's more grown up now in American boxing. But we really don't, when that fight was announced, and I could put my hand on my heart. I never ever looked at it as a black guy against a white guy. Did you? But, but, but you know, you know what the, top, the thing with America is that I don't know. I I only know what's happening in the country. In England, we're very much integrated in terms of like you know marriage, you know relationships, you know like, and and in terms of like workplaces, you know even social lives. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in the United States, but people who who um, who live who grew up in England? When they go to America, they always f get the impression that the race is stick to their own. Because it does what, out what, there. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I don't, I maybe, maybe, it maybe, does. maybe that's what that's maybe that's why it does. It does. It, maybe, like maybe, that. maybe, maybe that's why you know overtly in America, you know, white people will back a white fight, and overtly black black fight as a black a black fight. And now in England. It's, we back our own as well, we, we but back it, our own. We, we back our own. Like, I think I think yeah. in England, we, 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 if we're sports fans, there's no color. Like, there's none, for instance, especially when it comes to football and boxing. We don't care. We're you backing you. So, if I was a fan, if say I was a fan, a fan of Tyson Fury, and he fought a black fire, I'm still a fan of Tyson Fury. But that's you are, really you? you are. You're same, with, yeah. yeah. And it's the same with you know, if Dillian, you same with. I love Tyson Fury as much as I like Dillian White and um, Annie Joshua. The same yeah. with, you know, George Groves. If he was fighting a, um, James DeGale, big fans of both of them. But I'm not going to, you know, want um, James DeGale to win because he's black. It's not like that. Here. It's not like that. But, but don't get like me wrong. Yeah, I just don't like the start. Covertly, like covertly. Exactly like Bud Crawford. Covertly, like it's, 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 like, it's, Crawford. it's like that here. It's, that it is more covert in England. Than it, than it, than it is probably in um. Yeah, but it's ruining know. the sport over there. 
Yeah, We've all just, is- it always turns into this. And this is what Arlette's saying. This is why it's gone to this now. It's gone to this because one fighter is white. If Lomachenko was black like Devin Haney, you wouldn't have been getting all of this. I wouldn't be getting these people yeah, coming yeah, on yeah, my... Yeah, 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 if you've got, you got promoters like Bob Arum talking out of his backside... Yeah, Bob Arum's a, a fucking shot, idiot. And then what will happen is that he, 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 he only... You know, like I said, he only like how do I say it? He rationalizes the fit that you know, like the mindset of people in the United States because with his comments, he doesn't help matters, especially as a promoter. He, you know, he, he the UK, he, sorry, yeah, he thinks yeah. he can just get away with saying, Oh, he, he's as good as saying white um, American boxing fans don't want to get behind black fighters. That's as good as what he's saying, and, and, hey, and it sticks, and it sticks, it sticks, you know what I mean. He, 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 he will say, he will say, oh, the only black fighters I've made, you know, they're not like Mike Tyson or you know Muhammad Ali and all these greats. The black fighters that we have now are not on their level. And he will use that, you know, they're not like Mike Tyson or you know Muhammad Ali and all these greats. The black fighters that we have now are not on their level. And he will use that as an excuse. So yeah, he, he, but I do think, in in essence, United States, even though you're like you've got a civil rights. Um, you know that you know the civil Movement. rights bill from, like, yeah, from, from the late sixties. Well, bloody know, use it, God! The, it doesn't fact, feel like that. Right, that. You know, I get the impression that the racists stick to that sit to their own. They don't integrate. They do. They it's not that multicultural like it is here. It's no. not multicultural like it is in, in the United States, and that's why mm. you're always going to get that situation where there's going to be a siege mentality with, across the races. Hispanics, are, it out, Hispanics are, are, are notorious for sticking to preferring their own to anyone else. It's fine. You're gonna root for your own. You're gonna oh. like your own. You're from your own. You like your own. You like your people. Yeah, people but, like. But it's overt so though. It's overt though. It's very yeah. overt. Yeah, we don't have to make it predominant in fucking boxing and in golf or in tennis or in England. In England, in England, oh. we, 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 in England, we tend to accuse our cousins from the Indian subcontinent of having it biased, biased like that. We. You know, they they tend we tend to accuse them in England of being more overt than we, but even when it comes to sporting situations, like for instance, um, when um Nasser Hamid was it, you know, in his pomp, there was a lot of people from the Indian subcontinent community, especially the Muslim community in the nineties, boom, went behind supporting you know Nasser Hamid no matter what because they can identify with him, and the same with the support that Amir Khan gets, whilst. You know, boxing fans are all black and white. You, you, you it's, it's the, you know, we, we, we support the fighter that, that we, we've been fighting for. That's it. From and the done, done. You get me. Done it. Yes, so, man. This is what I'm saying. So, let me just put this disclaimer out. Just in case y'all didn't get the memo. Look, look, look. I rock with my American family all day, every day, twice on a Sunday. You, you're my biggest amount of subscribers. I got more of you guys that subscribe to me. The UK lot, but you're gonna have to still realize I'm British, so the problems and issues that you guys have over there, I don't, uh, I don't necessarily have over it. So what we're gonna have to do is when you come over to this side on 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 you know on my show, you're gonna have to leave these uh <laughs> this, this 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 slavery thing at the door just for a minute. This racism shit at the door. We, we, we've come here for escapism. So I'm British. Just check it at the door when you come here. We ain't doing black fighter versus white fighter. We don't rock with it. I don't rock with it. So I'd appreciate that it doesn't get brought to this channel. It's going to have to be some order, order, parliamentary procedure. I'm not with it. I don't rock with it. So don't bring it here. Hey, you got Sort out your issues on your lands. That's like me coming with my problems and going to my neighbor's house and, you know, bringing my problems to my neighbor or to someone else's house. Like, it's rude. Sort out your problems. And when you want to, you know, mingle with people, leave the problems at home. We, we're here to uh, support the sport and just keep it neutral like that. I don't rock with black versus white on in boxing. Do I love my blackness? Hell fucking yeah. Does that come first and foremost? Hell fucking yeah. But 
not in sports. I, with, I, so I don't come and take my my lenses. I don't look at fighters when they're announcing who's the black one, who's the who's the white one. Oh God, uh, that is. Even though I don't know who this black one is, but I know this white one is. Oh, I'm just going to go for the black one. No, that's not how I do it. So don't come in and accuse me that because I rooted for the white for the black fighter, but I thought the black the white fighter won, and then I rewatched it like I do with everything. It's so funny because this format that I'm doing never, no, never, no, no one ever comes on my sh panel. I mean, on my chat, uh, Kenny Ken calling me, you know, this and that and that, um, unless it's black versus white. When I do point score and rewatch, um, but th but this is the con uh, this is the uh, uh, contradiction and the hypocrisy. When I did a point score and rewatch with Anthony Joshua and Usyk, no Americans came in to say, you know, when I said that Usyk had won, everyone was quite happy. Yeah, Usyk's won. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, where was where was the love across the board for your black brother then? There wasn't, in it. But now it's to an American black person against a European white person. You lot think that you're so high so diddy that you're automatically better and that you're supposed to now be picked against that because you guys are mad xenophobic and you think America is the only land in the whole of the planet. I'm here to tell you it's not. Not a lot of... A lot of people are quite happy living in the countries that they live in. Uh, okay. Not everybody thinks that we got to go over where you've called it the land of the free, but it really isn't because all you lot do is live in fucking 1717 and talk about fucking slavery every two, two minutes and call people Sambos and fucking Uncle Sam's and buck breaking. And we don't use them terms over here. Okay. Say Uncle Sam's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will say Coon, Uncle Tom, but it's not rife. We're not like we don't we, like we, we. I'm hearing like all of these terminologies on a day to day basis with you guys. We don't live in the past like that. We know what happened. We we're not rocking with what happened. When we have to when we have to talk about it, we talk about it, but we don't dwell in it. You guys are supposed to be the land of the free. Where is it then? Because it sounds like you're still enslaved in your minds because it dominates and rules everything. It doesn't exist anymore. Guys. Yeah, sports. Ah, slavery. Ah, talking on a panel. Ah, slavery. Ah, talking about down south. Ah, slavery. Ah, it's like, drop us out. It's boring. It's fucking depressing, mate. Yeah. Hey, Lady, Lady Chan, not, not, to, uh, not the real change. Real. Not to change the subject, but did you ever see... Yeah, you're going to change the subject. Hang on, let me just wrap it up. <laughs> and then you can go, because your audio is quite bad. Um, yeah, so let it go. When we come here, we're talking about boxing. I don't want to hear no about black fighter versus white fighter, because that's why I had to just double check with Kenny. Did, 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 he, did he see it like that? Like, yo, because I don't, you know. And when you see... And when we saw Fury fight um, Deontay Wilder... I never saw it as black fighter versus white fighter. And then you had all of this racial tension that come out with that as well. And you're still trying to drag it along, man. Ain't it, ain't it wearing to drag, to drag all that along all the time? Like just this racial tension. God, be free. You said you're the land of the free. Show it. Because no one's right now wants to run, run across to your lands and live there. We are mad happy where we are. We're mad happy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I know that irks a lot of black Americans that black Brits are happy and black other Europeans are happy. Yeah, man, we're happy. We're not looking towards you lot to be like we need to be there. We don't. Because you lot are not happy. We're happy. Like, like, I can understand why people see it a certain way and why I see it a certain way. But yeah. Like our lips said... It's only when a certain denomination fight that you hear about robberies and shit. I've seen more than my fair share of robberies in the last couple yeah. of years. To me, this fight is not even a robbery. It was a very close fight. Like, I can understand why people see it a certain way and why I see it a certain way. But, yeah. But again, I'm just agreeing with Arlette and what you're saying that, you know, you don't hear about it unless it's certain people fighting. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, and it's getting boring now. This is what I'm saying. It's it's boring. It spoils it. It makes us having to stop talking about the sport and and deviate to talking about this. It's like just let it go, man. You know what I mean? Like you've been emancipated for four hundred fucking years. When you gonna let? How long does it take to let it go? Fuck's sake, move on. It's fucking four centuries. You weren't there. It's done now. We recollect it. Move on. That's like when you dated a girl fucking 20 years ago and now she's not your girlfriend anymore. You're still holding on to her as well. Like, don't you, haven't you moved on like five girlfriends more? Some of you've gone and got married. Let it go. Jeez. We, we ain't now. We ain't. You know, I was getting fucking strung up with trees and fucking hung, drawn and quartered anymore. Let it go. Don't bring it up in here. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Willie. Willie Lynch. Uh, look. Oh, no. Imagine that's his name, Will Lynch. But we all call him Willie Lynch. Uh, talking about the same shit. Willie Lynch. Yeah, he's the wrong person to be in the convo, weren't you, Will? Fuck you, know. With that name. I'm trying to escape it. And then you're called. <laughs> I think that's his, uh, his real name's Will William Lynch. I don't know if, yeah. Would we be saying that this was a robbery for Devin Haney? I want to hear the truthfulness. Would it be, would, would people be going, if the decision went to Lomachenko, what would you have said, Blood? I would have said that I thought that Devin Haney won the fight and that they yeah. got it wrong. I don't really throw around robbery. Um, no, you don't. I've always kind of spoke about, against that. Um, yeah, that you people have. People use some of these words too loosely. Too but freely. I would have said that I thought Haney won, won the fight. I would have just said yeah. they got it wrong. I didn't, I, don't, I didn't see it that way. Yeah. Me personally, yeah. but I do think a lot of people would have said robbery, though. Yeah, loads of people. <laughs> robbery! They would have, innit? They would have. A lot of people, I know. Yeah, but you are an advocate of not just throwing around that terminology because people don't fit, know know what a robbery is. It, like Jack Catterall and uh, Josh Taylor, that was a robbery, right? Who did anyone see that? Josh, Jack, Josh Taylor. Yeah, I thought it was pretty close. I didn't think it was a robbery. Oh, you thought, thought it was close. I yeah, thought Catterall won though. I thought but Catterall won. I'm only won. close. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So yeah, that would that wouldn't count as a robbery. Would you count that as a robbery, Kenny Ken? And uh, I'm, AJ. I'm afraid so. Watching it a few times, that 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 was it. it you know, it's not, it's not. It's not many times when when you get out of your chair when you just think that you know Josh Taylor didn't have any answers. Yeah, he, when he was hanging in, he hung in there. He, you know, he hung in there. But you know what? It's a shame because you know Jack Catterall as he he has a full six ten, has he? Nope, he's going to be coming to fight. I don't know, he's waiting for Josh Taylor to fight Tiafema Lopez. And he's that's, fight this that's, weekend. that's 15 he's months weekend. since he's fought, isn't it? He's got a fight scheduled, AJ. He is on the undercard of Laura Wood this weekend, uh, the rematch. Yeah. So that, that's, that's 15, 15 oh, months. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's he's fighting okay. sure. I, I've never he's heard of the guy he's fighting. Fight, I've never heard of that he guy. Fox, Blood, yeah. blood, Lara Wood in that. Blood, come over, come over and shout to DJ Wally West for dropping that two dollars on your girl. Um, Brits are better boxing fans than us. Sad to say. Yeah, yeah, because we had to, we had to go down the race card again. Um, okay, okay, went there, you know, because blacks, you know, you lot split your boxing with black fighter versus white fighter. Um, me and Kenny Ken was just saying that we don't, we don't. But so boxing was in the UK before it was in America, though. Yeah, but it was never race. I mean, it was obviously racist, like, but I think because it's been here for so long, for like, really, is it two, three hundred? It was established the most when the Marcus of Queen, Queensbury rules was nothing. Way before, way before then. Century. Yeah, it was, it was established before then. Yeah, about the 18th century. So it's been here a long time. So I think it's, it's as a Brit. No matter if you're a black Brit, white Brit, it's just ingrained as a part of your culture. So boxing's just boxing. We didn't really, and as knowing boxing as you're growing up, there was always, it was always dominated by black fighters. So it was, you know, and then you had some of the white ones. We've just never, we just never sat down and said, oh, well, this is black versus white, like what you lot do and make it into well, we a have a long history with the color line. This is the part of the reason. Yeah, it's it's, I it's historically. It I don't, we don't, I don't care. It's boring, and you're and you're you're putting a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Keep it to yourselves. Uh, what I'm saying is, stop people keep bringing it to my channel. Your problems ain't mine. I don't come to you lot with my problems. 
stop coming to my shit with your problems. I don't want them. We're fine. We're okay. <sighs> sort it out. You've been emancipated for 400 years. <sighs> Let's keep it moving. Like I said, you don't hang on to the same old school girlfriend that you dumped 400 years ago. I mean, 40 years ago, 20 years ago. Are you still thinking about her or have you moved on? You've moved on, innit? You fucked other bitches after that, innit, haven't you? Yeah, you have. Well, if you had to put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, how else you got to put it in blood? It's true. Have you stayed with the same bitch that you had in 19, that you had in 2010? No. Any of you lot? Or have you been fucking other bitches ever since? Damn, Lady Chan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, same thing. 400 years. It's happened. We remember it. We refer to it when necessary. We fucking hate it. It's a part of our history. We're proud and we're disgusted with it. Because we on, on the proud side, look what we went through and we have came, came out on the other side. But... You've come out on the other side for a reason to carry on living, not just to merely exist. You guys holding it on and your mantra of your country is land of the free. Still seem a bit enslaved over here. We're just not rocking with it. So I'm just saying I love all you, my Americans. My family's American. I grew up being in America a hell of a lot. Yeah. And I'm just trying to say, let's just move on. Let's just keep the sport of boxing boxing let's not turn it into we all trying to escape day-to-day -day life by loving sports we don't need to bring pol politics religion and and color into the into sports um okay so that to be on the panel i just gotta let you know yes. Yes. Oh, one, fight.